Hello. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you for joining this workshop. In this workshop, we will talk about the site editor and uh, and how we improve the can improve the economic experience with the with WooCommerce. So I am Luigi Deschia, and I'm working for Automatic, and I am one of the maintainer of WooCommerce Blocks project. So in the end, in this workshop, I will show you the work that uh, my team did in the last one year and a half. Um, okay, so last some questions. How many people work with WooCommerce in this room? Okay, nice. How many people use the site header for building e-commerce with WooCommerce? Okay, <laughs> nice. Okay, so the goal is I will do a quick introduction to the site editor. Uh, it will be very, it will be very fast, and in the end we will start to build uh, an e-commerce from from uh, the, from a scratch block team, uh, and uh, so you can see the power of blocks. Okay, so the blocks are the basic units uh, that we use for build the pages on the modern web. So in the, in the end, the blocks are just, uh, they contain some functionalities. So if you are, I'm pretty sure that you are using Gutenberg at least one time. And on the sidebar, you can see all the blocks. Now, in the last version of WordPress, we are trying, the, the, commu the WordPress community, trying to evolve the Gutenberg concept, not to being just a post editor, but to be an editor for building a website. For this reason, it's born to the full site editing. So the vision of full site editing is to provide a collection of features that, uh, that allows you to build a website. There are a lot of projects under the full site ed editing umbrella, like uh, site editor, globe styles, uh, query block, navigation blocks, templates, and block teams. So for example, this is a when you install WordPress and you open the site editor, this is the first screen that you see. It's just the home page, and then you can add blocks, you can customize blocks. Okay, so for using the site editor, it's necessary a block team. So a block team is just a WordPress team that uh, works completely with the, completely works with the blocks. And uh, so it allows to build a website uh, with a no code editor, um, no, co uh, no code uh, experience. Okay, so in the in the, the site editor, there is the, the concept. Uh, the, there is the concept of templates. So any page in your website is a template, and you can easily in the site editor you can easily customize. We could say that the storefront is the de facto standard WooCommerce uh, team a free full site editing area. So a lot of teams that uh, work with WooCommerce, being a, they are just a children team of uh, WooCommerce. So I want to show you with, our, with this workshop, I want to help you to build a, I want, you, I want to help you to build a cat specialty e-commerce with, uh, with, uh, with the site editor taking inspiration by the, by the storefront design. So uh, I don't know if you downloaded the zip that I shared on, uh, on the WordCamp Europe. Do you download the zip? Okay, my, I invite you to create a WordPress website with the, with the zip. To, the, the zip contains the products to import in WooCommerce. Uh, after that, you have to install uh, Create Block Team plugin that allows you to create a, blo a new block team. And after that, we will take inspiration for building the the e-commerce uh, the e-commerce uh, the e-commerce uh, from the from the theme of storefront. And obviously, you need to install WooCommerce and WooCommerce blocks. Okay. While you are, uh, I hope that you're starting to install things. I will think that uh, I want to mention that uh, for this workshop, it is really important to uh, mention the group block. The group block is a block that groups other blocks together inside one container. So it, the group block is really important for us because it will be able to uh, uh, to organize blocks. So, for example, we can put uh, blocks in a row or in a grid, for example. 
Okay, so after that, obviously the blocks are all, uh, have uh, the blocks are, uh, can easily customize thanks to the block styles. This is a demo where I can customize the navigation block with the block styles. Okay, so uh, did you install the 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 the, the, the WooCommerce uh, WooCommerce uh, the, the the create block uh, team extension on your laptop? Do you have? Yes, sorry. Um, the yes, you need to install. Yeah. Let me know when you sell it. Everything. So the storefront is just for reference. Yeah, yes, the storefront is for. Yeah, yeah, so the storefront is just for reference. The things to download is the zip that contains the product that you have to import in WooCommerce. After that, you need to install the Create Block Team plugin to create a new block team from scratch. And obviously WooCommerce and WooCommerce blocks. So when you have everything, those plugins, we can continue. Let me know. The idea is that I will show some images of uh, the storefront uh, design. And after that, I will, uh, I will say the blocks that you should use. And me and other colleagues in, at the first table will help you to build the, the, the website. So we download and install create block team? Yes, exactly. Yes, it's ju it's ju yes, it's just for inspiration. You know, you, uh, you don't. No, yeah, exactly. Okay, <laughs> they are coming to look. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, create, create, create block team is a plugin, so you need to search in the plugin section, not in the team section. OK. 
okay, it imports the products, uh, the zip is, this is the link to the load the products. Okay, everyone in the room is... Okay, okay. Yes, I can just, yes. The okay. Okay, so while the products are, uh, are still importing, you can create a blank team from, uh, you can create a block team. So if you install and enable the plugin, create a block team, you can go in appearance, click create block team, and click on create blank team. And after that, you can enable it. Let me know. Okay, so did you enable the did you enable the new block team that we created? Uh, can can we go? Uh, yes, this is the video to enable it. So you need to go to appearance, create block team, click on create blank team, set a name, and after that click generate. And if you go in the team section. You will see this new team and you have to enable it. The video? Yeah. 
Okay, we'll wait for Carol and not for the... Someone needs help in the room? Yes, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with this plugin, we are creating a new black team. So when you will open the side editor, you will see just an empty canvas, essentially. So the thing is that now we will try to replicate Surfront just with blocks. Uh, so Surfront obviously requires some coding, uh, coding skills. And we can see how easily it's, po how easily it's possible to recreate a Surfront looks like, a, a similar team like Surfront, thanks to the site editor. So the first thing that I want to start is the either template part. So if you open the site editor, and you can go to, and you sh uh, show the list of all templates, you can click on either template part. The template part is, is just a template part that just is, uh, the, is the template where, the, where you can, s when you configure it, your, uh, your, um, your uh, either. So obviously it's not required to replicate the same design because obviously it will require a lot of times. But you can easily, with only these three blocks, so navigation block, product search block, and mini card block, you can easily replicate this design. So this is the, this is the mini card block, this is the product search block, and this is the navigation, uh, the navigation block. So we have few templates to edit, so I mean, Take your time, uh, we can stay five minutes on this slide. I am here for help you to, to, to set up the, to configure the either. Uh, so let me know if you need some help. No, the thing is that I want to show the I want to show them the blockify single uh, blockify template and we just release it. <laughs> so let me know if you need some help if you want to some de particular design that you like. Uh, because in the end, this template can be exported. So I can imagine if you can uh, if you have an agency, uh, or if you have uh, I don't know if you are a freelancer and sell a lot of uh, you work on a lot of with a lot of clients. You can just reuse this template easily. Okay, so for example, I will shoot them quickly. This is this is a block team. This is a block team from scratch, as it seems that you created now. And now it start to to change the header. So I have already the I already have the navigation block. So I will show. I will add the mini card. I want to mention that the mini cart before the site, uh, before the site, uh, the full site editing, before they release this block, for building a new, uh, for being key, for for add a mini cart should require uh, coding skills. Now anyone can easily add the mini cart block in a, in a in a in a block team. So, and I will add the product search. Okay, and I will say that the background in my, in my header is, I will say, gray. <laughs> and yes, so now, if I go on my template, on my website, sorry, 
I would see the changes immediately. <laughs> if you see, in this, in, it is interesting to see how the site editor match, matches on the front end. So the, the editing experience is, is, is very, is very, helps a lot to, to create quickly websites, easily. Mm. Do you want do you want sometimes to to add to work on the either template or do you prefer that we can go on the next slide? I think just give us like two, three minutes. Okay, okay. Sorry, uh, I will show you the slide again. Uh, the navigation block. Yes, with the WooCommerce. The uh, navigation block is from uh, Gutenberg, so from okay. WordPress. Instead, the, the minicard block and the product search block came from WooCommerce. So for example, if I want to put the... Oh, okay. Obviously, uh, uh, for example, the mini cart has some settings. For example, if I can display the total price or not, this kind of stuff. I mean, any block is, has a lot of customization but we don't have time to, to see in specific every block. Okay, should we go to the next slide? Is it okay for everyone? Okay, so the next slide is the index template. So the index template is like the home page. So if you open the site editor and you go on templates, you should have the index template. So the, inde the index template is, the, is like the is like home page. So if you see, the storefront has this kind of uh, big cover, <laughs> and for this reason, we will use the cover block from the fr the cover block from Gutenberg. And after that, we have the product the product categories. And in WooCommerce, we have this call, we have this block called the featured category block. Uh, so you can just work with those two blocks to replicate a similar a similar design. So no, no, it's it's if you click on the template, if you open the click on the left corner on the WordPress. Uh, okay, one moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, sorry. This one. Obviously, the layout should not be one to one. Okay, let me know when you are ready uh, and we can go to the next slide. Okay, so in the meantime, I will create my index. And it will be just
Sorry? Is the, the, the template that we start, uh, that we created with the create block team? Yes, yeah, yeah, sorry, it's in, oh, sorry, it's index, yes. It's index template, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So let me know if someone needs help. So I created the cover, the cover block. Yeah, the cat's shop is the cover block. So is it okay for you? I mean, uh, do you have some issue? Or <coughs> Not in general. Okay, so same, always in the same template. Obviously, the home page of an e-commerce should have the products, you know? <laughs> so we can use the products block that, that show the, all the products that are available in the, that uh, they are available in, uh, in the e-commerce. So I am in the index template. I will remove this one because I don't care about the, the post. So I will search for products block. And now you can see, I will have all the products that I have in my, that I have imported in my, in my WooCommerce. So when I will refresh the page, I will see all the products. Okay, so for the list of products, they are needed. They are needed the heading block for write the for write the recent products uh, title and the products block <coughs> because the products blocks has several filter. So you can filter. You can show the products that are just by that just are in sale or the product that are and the, that the most popular product. So if you go on the setting of the block, you can, you can add custom filter. So for example, on the, on the, as first block, I will show the list of all products. 
And after that, I will, bro I will create another block. I will add another products block. So I will, see, I will create eating. Uh, and in this case, I will show only the on-sale products. As you can see, the experience is really easy because it's it just add a block and set a filter on the, on the block setting. It's not, it doesn't require any coding skill. So I will, uh, I will save the template. Save, yes. And after that, I will have the my cover, the my product categories, and my list of products. And after that, I will have the only on sale products. Okay, so the slide, and there is another slide about the index template, but I think since that we are, we are wrapping, wrapping up the, template, the, the workshop, it's better if we can skip this slide, but in the end, in Storefront, there are some blocks that show the, they show the, review, the review of the product, and in WooCommerce, there is a, a product, by, uh, there is a block called single product, so you can add the single product, pick the product, and after that, in the same, uh, you can add the review by product. So it will be, the, the, those blocks will show the review of, uh, of, uh, of, the, of the product that you picked. So another uh, the, 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 the template, uh, so the, another template that we will change is the product catalog template. That is not the home page of the, your e-commerce, but is when you go on the, on the shop page. So slash shop, pay, shop. So. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So this is one of the one of the things that we worked in the in the last months. So essentially, before the experience was free for the product catalog was pretty, not read, not ready for the site editor. In the last months, we created, we blockified this template. So now, in the, this, the, the, these new blocks will be available in WooCommerce 7.9 by default. So when you enable WooCommerce Core 7.9, uh, you will see this template. This template will be already blockified. So you will see all, all those blocks. Uh, and it's, it's interesting because even if this is a blockified template, all the filters that runs on this page works, continue to work. We work at on a, on a compatibility layer, so all the extension that works on the classic template should be will work on this template as well. So, if I go on my shop page. I will be able to see the shop page essentially. So I have that to cart. I can add the cart, the, the product to the cart, and I will see the, that mini cart updates. Okay, so we did the same, a similar work for the single product template. So in the next version of WooCommerce, uh, of WooCommerce Core 7.9, if you created a new store, this template will be, will, be, will be enabled by default. So for example, you can, so for example, you can move the post title where you want. You can add blocks in the single product without no coding skills. And even if in this template, all the filters that run the classic, on the classic template will work. So all the extension that use, for example, product recommendation, uh, I don't know, there are several extensions, will continue to work on, uh, on the Blockify template. So for us, it's really important to be, maintain the backward compatibility. We work, we work a lot to reach this goal. 
So I invite you to try this Blockify template. And obviously, if you find some issues, uh, ping us on Slack on, on uh, GitHub. We, I mean, we are ready. We want to help you. We want that all the WooCommerce, uh, the, all the, the folks that works on WooCommerce migrate to the block, uh, the block templates. Because as uh, you can see, the experience is very smooth, especially because it is very easy to create an e-commerce with the site editor now. And the thing that you, the, the important thing is that you can, thanks to the block team, you can export. You can easily export uh, your, uh, your team. So you can use the same team with the customized template for other clients, uh, for our client, uh, cli uh, clients as well. So you can easily scale, scale your business. Especially if you work on a custom block team with cell variation. Uh, I didn't have time to, to talk about the, the, the interesting thing about the, the, the site editor, uh, all the feature, but, uh, but potentially it's, if, you, if you add an agency, it will be very cool, for example, add uh, just a block team with a different cell variation, and you can reuse this block team with the, 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 the Blockify template that you created and share the same, the same block team, the same templates to different clients but just sharing, changing the cell variation. So even if you are using the same code base, the, the, the website will look very different. <laughs> there is, should be a setting in create block team. Okay, should be another extension to export block, uh, should, should be an extension for ex, uh, export block team. Okay. And for example, if you decide to, if you come back, as if you go, go to home and you decide to continue to work on this workshop, I mean, it will be very cool if someone of you applies a new block team that we did in this workshop to wordpress.org. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, Yes, yes, okay, thank you. Yes, you can easily export the template as zip file. So you can share easily this template to other, uh, to other uh, developers, so their team developer clients easily. So the goal, I mean, the goal of this workshop is to show uh, the potentiality of the blocks and they are not useful just to create a, a classic site or a block, but they can be very powerful if the, if, uh, w with, uh, with a WooCommerce, in a com with an e-commerce uh, solution. So before the site, before the site editor area, for writing, for creating an e-commerce, for uh, do some customization was required some coding skills. Now, thanks to the, thanks to the site editor, any block team, can be a great team for WooCommerce. So as I said before, this is just the beginning of the journey. <laughs> there are the global sites, there are patterns. Even if you don't find the, the, the right block in the block, uh, in WooCommerce blocks or in WooCommerce, you can build a new blocks easily. So I will just say thank you. I hope that you enjoyed the workshop. I will just say thank you and there are my, you can see my contacts here. I'm happy to, I am here entire day, so I am happy to, to answer your question after the workshop, or in general I'll show some of them about what we did uh, as in WooCommerce blogs, and how we, and what is our mission to bring blogs to WooCommerce. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>